the coronation explained to Muslims. Why would you want to know about it? Many of you, or your ancestors, chose to settle in the UK or in Western countries. This guide will open a window into history. It will show you that much of what you like about living here is based on the Christian faith. Even though numerous people do currently not practice Christianity, we still benefit from many of its fruits, such as the dignity of humans, hospitals, hospices, schools, the development of science, and much more. Historians agree that the beginning of Europe and its development cannot be understood apart from Christianity. But how do we explain the coalition between the official church and state for selfish gains, the Crusades, religious wars, slavery, colonialism and the two world wars? The answer lies in the fact that only secondary Christian values, such as brotherhood and liberty, justice and equality, were accepted by the nations of Europe. The cross of Christ and its personal application was sadly rejected by many. Here is the most important point about the coronation. According to the Bible and the Quran, God is the King of Kings. He is absolutely sovereign over all His creation. He is the owner, giver, maintainer of life and ultimately the taker of it. Therefore, to be rebellious against Him is foolishness. In light of God's absolute power and majesty, both Bible and Quran also agree. The main reason why people are saved from hell is not good deeds but God's mercy. If Christians and Muslims have so much in common, why does King Charles swear his oath only upon the Bible? Why is it called the most valuable thing that this world affords during the ceremony? Why does the new king pledge to defend only the gospel? Why is one of his titles defender of the faith, not defender of faith? The answer is simple yet very profound. Only the gospel solves a divine dilemma. How can God remain true to both his attributes of mercy and justice? If he forgives without punishment, then he is not just. In the death and resurrection of Jesus, he paid the penalty for all our sins and shame himself on the cross. All those who repent and believe in God's only way will receive his guaranteed, undeserved forgiveness and eternal life in heaven. Moreover, they will be indwelled and empowered by the Holy Spirit of God to live a purposeful life that pleases Him now. Coronations are full of celebration and pageantry. They pale into insignificance, however, when compared with the greatest feast and celebration of all time. We bless you with a unique gift, a personal invitation to the Wedding Supper of the Lamb. As it is written in the book of Revelation, chapter 19 verse 9, found in the Injil. Blessed are those who are invited to the wedding supper of the Lamb. For more details and all the sources of what has been said so far, please visit the link below or in the comments section. Alternatively, please Google ChristianityExplained.net and search for the word Coronation.